Wrangler JL owners often ask us if they can still install our front half shade while keeping the rest of the hardtop in place and if the front freedom panels still work with the shade installed. I'm here to tell you that yes, our front half shade can be installed by only removing the front freedom panels and leaving the rest of the hardtop in place. And yes, you can still reinstall your front freedom panels while keeping the sunshade installed. There are no modifications to do, no loosening of any bungees, no rolling back of the shade itself. It stays on as is and you still retain access to all of the freedom panel latches. So I'm not gonna go through the entire installation process. I've already done a video on that. I'm gonna link to it somewhere over here. It's gonna pop up. Magically. And in the description as well. So I strongly recommend that you watch that video entirely because the installation is virtually identical. So it's at this point in the install where things are a bit different. So you're going to have your four T-bar bungees in place and you're gonna have the two bungees um, on the driver's side and two on the passenger side done. So all that's left are the corners and the center rear grommets where the bungee goes over the sound bar. So let me show you how to do that. At this point, you're gonna have four bungees left. Grab the medium-sized bungee, feed it through the grommet like so, and then you're gonna want to slide it in between the sound bar and the hard top until it pops out on the other side. Grab it with your other hand. So if you have a four door, I recommend having the door open like I do and just grabbing it and then pulling it back around onto the bungee ball. Now we're just going to repeat the exact same process on the passenger side. So for the last step of the sunshade install, I'm actually sitting in the back seat of the Wrangler. I find it a bit easier to do it from here. So all you're gonna do is feed the bungee up through the grommet and then feed it in between the sound bar and the hardtop like this. Grab it with your hand and then bring it around the bungee ball and you're all done. So that is how you install our front half shade on a hardtop equipped Jeep Wrangler JL. The very last thing I want to show you is how to reinstall your freedom panels with the sunshade still installed and to show you that you still retain access to all of the latches. So we have our passenger side freedom panel. Make sure that the latch is in this position. Do exactly what you would normally do. Only this time, you'll just have to move the sunshade a bit out of the way. And you can still close down the latch. Again, with this one, you'll have to just reach in between. You still have full access to all of the latches. Now we have the driver's side. Open this up. Make sure that your sun visor's down. Latch is in the open position. Freedom panel on. You can move the shade a bit out of the way. Line up the peg. Now you can close down that latch. This one. This one. That's it. Plus the Alien Sunshade acts as a nice headliner when you have the Freedom Panels back on. So that does it for this video installation tutorial. I sincerely hope you found value in it and it helped answer any questions around hard top and Freedom Top compatibility with our front half shade. If you're looking to purchase your very own Alien Sunshade for your Jeep, I'll include a link in the description with our website. And if you're already an Alien Sunshade customer and just finished up the installation of your brand new Sunshade, great, welcome to Team Alien. We love seeing customer submitted pictures, 
So if you're on Instagram, be sure to use the hashtag Alien Sunshade and tag us. All right, that's it for me for today. I'm gonna take the Freedom Panels back off my Jeep and enjoy the sunny weather with my Alien equipped Jeep. Until next time. Bugs.